Gymshark ships tens of millions of orders every single year from different distribution centers around the world. Today, we are gonna show you behind the scenes of our new UK DC in Lutterworth and explain to you how we get these orders out the door every single day. Trust me, this is so, so important. And it's a foundation of business that just I don't think enough people talk about. These are large investments, they're complex, they're difficult, but they make a massive, massive difference to the back end and ultimately the customer experience. I think you guys look at a lot of the investments that we do on the front end in terms of our products, maybe some of the events that we do, the offices and all that sort of stuff that you can see. But I think one of the most undervalued investments that we've made is that in the foundations of the business, in our operations and distribution strategy. We work with two main partners around the world to help with our distribution strategy. Number one, North America is Radial. We've been working with Radial for the last 12 to 18 months. They've been absolutely brilliant and they currently manage at Toronto, DC. Radial will also be managing the two DCs in the United States, which will be opening soon. And second, Blackman. Blackman, we've been working with Blackman for years and years and years now. And genuinely, when we go and see those guys, it, they are like a part of the Gymshark team. It doesn't feel like we're two separate businesses. They've managed our UK DC out of Swindon all this time. They are now currently managing the new UK DC, which is out of Lutterworth. And they've managed, obviously, all the European distribution centers as well. So we have just opened a brand new distribution center in Australia that is going to completely game change the customer experience for everyone who's ordering in Australia. The Australia DC was a pretty much remote launch as far as we're concerned in terms of sort of full-time Gymshark staff, but the launch has gone incredibly well. Australia has always been a difficult uh, part of the world to serve for us just because it's so far away from any of our other distribution centers. So it makes a massive, massive difference and vastly increases the customer experience for everyone who's ordering in Australia. Just having the Australia DC in the same time zone makes a massive, massive difference. So if you're in Australia and you order before 12 p.m., then your order will be dispatched the same day. So just by having that distribution center in Australia, it makes such a massive difference to the customer experience and the speed at which we can operate. Canada was a funny one. So Canada has import duties on products from Gymshark that are imported into the country. So previously when we were shipping out of Europe, everyone that was ordering into Canada would have to pay import duties to the Canadian government based on the value of the order that they had made. So as soon as we opened the Canadian DC, that was so much better for us because we could then ship in the product beforehand, obviously housing that DC and we would pay the duties on the way in. And then when the, the goods are then shipped within Canada, obviously the customer or the community doesn't have to pay a penny in import duties. So the Canadian DC has not only increased the speed of delivery as it has in Australia, but the removal of the import duties has made a massive, massive difference. And the reaction from the Canadian customer has been absolutely resoundingly positives. Belgium, the biggest DC, so this DC manages everything else that happens in the world. It is absolutely huge and we have visited there several, several times in the past. When you're walking through, it's like almost like a city in itself. It is so, so vast. You drive past it on the motorway and it just seems to go on and on and on. Belgium can ship hundreds and hundreds of thousands of units at peak. It is incredibly efficient. We have invested in automation there as well. It is the one that we've invested in the most because it serves the most people around the world. The next two DCs that are on there way we are looking at two in the US so we're looking at having one in California and we are looking at having one in Ohio the two US DCs will be going live in the next 12 months and they will absolutely step change the experience for the US customer so we have recently moved our UK DC from Swindon to Lutterworth which is just near between Rugby and Leicester we are going to be going there later today which I'm really excited about because I'm looking forward to showing you guys around we really showed you the development of growth of Swindon so it's brilliant to be able to show you Lutterworth as it is now so this is the first time that I've been to this DC. We moved it from Swindon to Lutterworth, so it's actually a lot more accessible for us in the office. It's about 35 minutes drive from the office. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. It gives us a lot more scope for growth, and from what I gather, the setup is absolutely incredible. The move over from Swindon has been absolutely seamless. Also, the operations team have done an amazing job there. Blackman have absolutely smashed it. From Lutterworth here that you're gonna to see today are all UK orders. Now, the UK market is obviously a huge market for us. It is the home market, the Gymshark community in the UK is huge. So it's still gonna be a very, very big distribution center despite only operating in one country. First impressions of Leicestershire, very good. So we're only two minutes away now. Blackman, they, we're in one of them buildings, look. 
Look, no, as the George, and thank you to our NHS workers. Thank you, Nikki Francis. <laughs> oh. So here we are, we're in Lutterworth, we're in Jim Shark's brand new distribution centre. It is absolutely massive, genuinely huge, and it gives us not only size and space now, but the opportunity to grow and create the most incredible customer experience for everyone that's receiving parcels from here in the UK. Not only do we have the opportunity to invest in automation here as well, similar to what we have done in Belgium, but this is perfectly placed because just next door to here is Ernie's and DPD. So having these next door means that our weekday collections are now at midnight and on weekends they're now 10 p.m. So what that means is on a weekday you could order at quarter to midnight and then it will be processed through this distribution centre, picked up and shipped to your door for the very next day. Another incredible thing about this place is that is at peak we can get out up to 170,000 units a day and that's again is just focused on the UK distribution which is just absolutely incredible and it just shows that our investments in the back end of the business when supported by Blackman and Radial can just create incredible efficiencies and really help the business scale. So on a day like today, there'll probably be in and around 100 people working in here. Listen, during a Black Friday or a sales period, that could go to five, six plus 100. Um, but today, it's quite nice. It's fairly quiet other than the construction that's going on. At the moment, this entire ground floor is looking to be full of Gymshark stuff. There are other areas of the distribution centre which Bletman are occupying with other people, but for now, everything you see on a ground floor level will be Gymsharks. Everything that you see here behind is getting prepared for a small outlet that we're doing. So this has all been put into place because this is essentially going to be going into the sale and it needs to be you know, available to be picked and packed as quickly as possible. At the moment, this is very similar to how it was in Swindon, so it's quite manual. But in Belgium, we've invested in automation and you're going to likely be seeing something very similar here. So at some point, you're going to have a full conveyor belt come around here and it'll be a fully automated DC. So we'll get even more efficiencies. And this, is, this is very similar to what we had in Swindon, but it's, well, listen, it's pretty much a brand new building. Everything is so slick and so clean. It's actually quite nice to come on a day like today because Oftentimes when we come to the distribution centres, it's Black Friday. Sorry, man. And it is absolutely slammed and you're sort of having to dodge people as you're running around. Whereas here, you're certainly not having to do that. All of these aisles are really wide as well, so there's plenty of space. So it's nice just to come on a day like today when it's a bit more chill. And it's nice to be able to see, I guess, the distribution centre in more of its infancy as we have with the others. So it's looking good. It's looking really good. Talk a lot about a lot about sort of like the front end of the back end of the business and I know that this probably isn't the most exciting video to a lot of you, but trust me, this is so, so important to Gymshark from a front end perspective in terms of the experience that you guys have when you're purchasing or interacting with us at Gymshark. But equally, like I said, it really sets us up for the future and it's a foundation of business that just I don't think enough people talk about. Again, probably not the most exciting thing you will see. However, believe you me, this is one of the foundational and key elements to any strong business, is having a solid and robust operational strategy. So that's why I want to show you guys around here so that you can see what it's like. And, you know, get a little bit more of an insight on what it's like working in or being a part of a business like Gymshark. It's quite cool to see everyone wearing Gymshark as you walk around as well. To me, so before we had so we've got the distribution centers in Belgium, which is just massive. When you're there, it's like you're in a, it's like a city on its own. It's huge. And Swindon always was, you know, a lot smaller. Whereas this one genuinely feels just like a, a slightly smaller version of what we've got in Belgium. Like I said, even looking at the mezzanine, the way that the place has been set up, you know, it, it's essentially custom built for this exact purpose. So coming down here, we are in the bulk stock section, so everything behind me that you'll see is all Gymshark stock, which will later move over into the other part of the distribution center. And it's only when you come in here, actually, because you are covered by such high racking, it feels a bit darker. Do you realize just how beautiful and light an area it is out on the warehouse or on the distribution center floor because of all the skylights that we've got in? So obviously, as I've mentioned, this distribution center looks after just the UK orders. Over in Belgium, we have more distribution centres. We've got a distribution centre in Toronto. We've got a brand new distribution centre in Australia as well. And coming soon, we are looking at investing into two new distribution centres in the United States. 
as well. Now, why are we doing this? We're not doing this just because we want DCs all around the world. We're doing it because it makes a massive, massive difference to the customer experience. The customer experience is improved dramatically by having distribution centers in the right areas. Now, probably best example in the world is uh, companies like Amazon just do this in an incredible, incredible way. We're nowhere near their level at yet. But I talk about this brand being one of the greatest brands in the world, one of the greatest communities in the world, and the fact that we invest for the long term, and we certainly do that through our distribution and back-end strategy. Like I've said, we're investing in the foundations of the business because we know that that will help build a business that will truly last and stand the test of time, rather than a company that essentially invests heavily on the front end, but forgets about its foundations. Hopefully, by showing you around this place today, it gives you a little bit more of an idea of the scale and complexity in Gymshark's back-end order management. Oh, you're gone, you've gone, I thought you were there. So I hope you enjoyed this video on Gymshark's global distribution strategy. It's not the sort of thing that a lot of people cover. I know there are probably more exciting things to talk about, but I do think this is incredibly interesting and absolutely fundamental to any robust business. Like I mentioned previously in the video, look at people like Amazon who have just smashed it. I think if you can create a great business foundation and we can be continuing to serve the Gymshark community as we grow as best we can, then I think it's just going to be great for everyone involved. So anyone that's followed me or Gymshark for a while will know that one of the biggest tests of our locations is how close we are from a Nando's. And by the looks of things, there are what seems to be four Nando's within about 10 minutes of here. So I reckon, I reckon that's past the test to be fair, don't you? Four, well, no, we're 14 minutes away from Nando's in Rugby. There you go. I, I, I can deal with that. I can deal with 14.